for radio biafra and biafran television there you join us and we'll be glad that you join us let us do the needful we appreciate you all for being there because without you we will not be here and that is exactly the reasons why oftentimes we appreciate you for your doggedness and for your resilience in the agitation to restore biafra led by Amazon Namdekano of IPOB. This morning, um, our brother Amazon Elvis Omudewe will be joining us in some couple of minutes and our anchor, Mwada Ngozi Chukuka, will also be joining us shortly from now. But we'll be going further with the things that we have right here. And we urge you to share the program like I said before, to your friends and family so that they can join us and benefit from this education, from this free enlightenment, because right here we are specialized on exposing the lies, nothing more but telling you the truth, educating you on the things that you need to know, because our people has been subdued to all manner of sufferings sponsored by Nigeria government and they are being protected by their brown envelope media everywhere. And that is why we are here to always counter and tell you the truth on the things that you need to know on what is happening around you. So join us on Radio Biafra London, wherever you are. And if you cannot also hook up to our television, and maybe if you do not have the decoder to join us there, you can go to social media platform. There we are also streaming live. And you can do well by joining us on Facebook at Radio Biafra and Sunrise BTV. The program has been designed all for you. That is, after some couple of minutes of our analysis right here, we will be going for your own side to hear from you what you have to say. So get your phone ready. If you do not have air time to call in, you go and do well by getting some to recharge. Because after some time of analysis, our phone lines will be opened and you will call in to make your own contributions as regards to the things that we will be discussing or the things happening around your area. And the program is all yours. This morning we have some couple of uh, headlines that we will be looking into. And the first we have here is Catholic Archbishop Tigali, South African xenophobic, similar to hatred in Nazi Germany. This is coming from Daily Post. And we also have another one here. Nigerians Buhari to visit South Africa after attacks. This one is coming from uh, Sahara Reporters. And we have another one here. Mieti Allah blames Nigerians' migration to South Africa on insecurity, poor economy. This one is coming from Guardian. And we also have another one here. One killed, five wounded in new uh, Johannesburg violence. Also coming from uh, Guardian. We also have another one here. Xenophobia. Nigeria community raises alarm over fresh violence in South Africa. So it's coming from Daily Post. And another one right here. We have a WAYEC certificate. Advocate office now. PDP tells Buhari. Very, very interesting anyway. And we also have another one here. People who are looking for fame and name. Lawyer files criminal complaint against Kano at ICC. So is coming from Tribune. And the last one right here is um, about the crisis going on in Ebony State. Of course, we'll be looking into that to, so to see what exactly is happening while brethren will be killing themselves unnecessarily. It's, uh, read 10 killed as armed men attack Ebony community. That is coming from uh, Ebony, IPOB media. Of course, also printed on various Nigerian newspapers. We'll be looking extensively to find out what actually is going on. And we encourage you, as always, to join us and invite your friends and family to join us as well. This program needs your sponsorship 
for us to go higher, for us to serve you better, because there are so many things that we need to replace here in the studio. We need to upgrade our internet connection. We need to replace some gadgets that are no longer effective. And we need your aid to make sure that here is up and running to serve you better. And in the end, Biafra will be restored. Um, we'll be doing this together until we go from here. Our brother, Amaz Elvis, We'll be anticipating him to join us very, very soon from now. And uh, Uncle Mwada Ngozi Chukuka. But uh, before then, let us look on the first one we have here. Catholic Archbishop Tigale, South Africa xenophobia, similar to hatred in Nazi Germany. Algeria's, um, okay. South Africa Catholic Archbishop Budi Tigali has condemned the South Africa government for doing too little to protect victims of xenophobic attacks in the country. He said this is in statement released in Abuja on Saturday. He said, once again, we receive reports of the authorities doing very little to protect the victims. We received report of police standing by idly in Pretoria. Why shops were looted and the people attacked. Not a single arrest was made on that day. One, once again, the authorities resort to the old explanation that this is not xenophobia, but the work of criminal elements. Let us be absolutely clear. This is not an attempt by concerned South Africans to rid our citizens of drug dealers. This is not the work of a few criminals. This is not the work of a xenophobia plan and simple. It is, if it was about drugs, why are South Africans drug dealers not being targeted as well? Are we really believing that there are none? And why are drug addicts who rob people in our city centers to get money to buy drugs not being targeted if it is the work of a few criminal elements why are south african owned businesses not being looted as well the teaching of the church is direct and uncompromising more than 80 percent of south africans claim to be christians what are our religious leaders teaching the multitudes that fill our churches every Sunday. Galatians 3.28 says, There is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, nor is there male and female, for you are all one in Christ. By the same token, there is neither South Africa nor Nigeria nor Ethiopia. We are all one in Christ. Let us take heed of this we are facing a rising tide of hatred and intolerance not different to the rising of tide of hatred in nazi germany if we do not take urgent action to stop it there will be nothing left of course this one is coming from um, an archbishop who have decided to bring it to the christian perspective uh, arguing that what is going on in South Africa, as long as the xenophobic attack is concerned, is not the issue of dealing with criminal act or dealing with criminals. And it is more of hatred. The people who are dealing in drugs, according to him, and as everybody know, they are not only Nigerians, they are not only people from Ethiopia or people from Ghana or other uh, nationalities that are not South Africans either by birth or by registration or citizens. But it is a matter of hatred. The prosperous way of those people that came, especially our brothers 
from here because most of the victims of the xenophobic attack they are all Igbos. that is why the government of nigeria will always tell you that nothing has happened that no nigeria was killed so many victims that has so far been killed as long as this matter is contained and is is uh, alarming and it's not something that anybody should welcome at all so we encourage the church of course this uh, archbishop has done well uh, for coming out to speak to say the truth here that what is happening is as a result of hatred and it is as a result of jealousy and that is exactly what it is not to curb criminality or to curb crime in the country it is as a result of hatred that these lazy people have on the ordinary or other nationalities from other countries and it is something very very bad that need to be condemned and of course um, it's something that everybody should join hands to condemn so we'll be moving further and don't forget that very soon our phone lines will be opened for you to make your contributions and like i said before you can do well to share the program to your friends your family we are on everywhere in the social media platform we are on facebook at sunrise btv we are also on we are also transmitting live on facebook our official facebook radio biafra and other platforms of uh, the social media you can talk of so let's proceed to the next one we have here um Nigerians Buhari to visit South Africa after attack. This time, who knows what he is going to do there? Could it be the work of a Femi Adeshina doing his Photoshop business or what? But we're going to find out what is really going on and what he is going to do. After all this, while they have been keeping quiet nothing much has been done to save the lives of the ordinary nigerians and also the people who are suffering there whose businesses has been destroyed as a result of this xenophobic uh, attack in south africa let's read and find out what is uh, contained nigerians buhari to visit south africa after attacks this report is uh, printed in almost all the nigerian newspapers president Muhammad buhari is expected to pay a visit to south africa in october hmm. the south african presidency said saturday after a spell of xenophobic violence in johannesburg caused tensions between the countries south africa's financial capital and the surrounding areas were rocked by a surge of deadly attacks against foreigners this week many directed against nigerian owned businesses and properties the violence prompted reciprocal attacks against south african firms in nigeria and the temporary closing of south africans diplomatic mission in lagos and abuja at least 10 people were killed in violence and hundreds of shops destroyed buhari's visit is meant to reinforce the strong bonds between the two countries and jointly develop responses to challenge affecting people and businesses in south africa and nigeria uh, said south africans presidency in statement foreign workers are often victims of anti-immigration sentiments in south africa the continent's second biggest economy after nigeria where they compete against locals for jobs particularly in low skill industries more than 420 people have been arrested since the violence flared up on sunday uh, this one is 
very very sad from now till October and who knows how many people that may have been killed before the October that he will be visiting the uh, that will be visiting you know the program I mean the the country it is something very very bad that all this why the country has not done anything about it of course uh, we'll be embarking on a short break and when we return we will continue